Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I always do this. I don't understand why. Like, hey guys, like I'm scared or I'm under arrest or something like that. But hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be more healthcare stuff. It's been something that I've been really passionate about lately. I've been buying a lot more skincare um, products than actual makeup, and I think it's just because, you know, it's that time of the year. You want to get your skin game on point, and plus, if you have really nice skin, then your makeup just automatically automatically looks better so you just girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do this video is going to be talking about something that's really really exciting to me and it is the origins um masker trio and i opened it already because i was like super i could like, i tried all this stuff because i wanted yeah i opened it already because i wanted to try all this stuff because i wanted to give you guys my opinion but basically, um, it comes like this, and you can buy it at Origins, at the Origins store. You can buy it at any Origins, like, booth or pop-up area, pop-up store, and at, like, a Macy's or Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's or a Neiman Marcus or a, you know, insert fancy, nice, um, retail store here. Um, but basically, it comes with some other bestsellers and in really good sizes and it's really affordable because it was $30 this was $30 and when you see the sizes of some of the, the um, products that are in here you're gonna be like whoa that's bananas because I would spend $17 on a travel size of one of these alone so deals and steals pretty much. so first things first we are going to talk about the Modern Friction um, na Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion um, Cleansing, like Exfoliator Cleansing. It's, it's like both, pretty much, because it's really interesting. Um, for me, I had a lot, a lot of dead skin I had to get rid of, and I wanted that stuff gone. So what I ended up doing is, and I read the directions, and I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to, like, you know, really sloth, well, wait, that's not a word. I really wanted to take off all that you know, all the extra dead skin that I was rocking, and it was terrible. Um, so I didn't want to damp my face too much. I didn't want to be like, an, like a cleanser. I wanted it to be, I really wanted it to pull at the dead skin that I had. And this is sounding really disgusting now that I'm <laughs> explaining it and listening to myself. Um, so what I ended up doing is, is I ended up uh, wetting my face, um, wetting my, like wetting my hands just a little bit, not too much, and then just like patting it, like patting my hands against my face, just like, barely touching it just so that it, there was some water there so I didn't kind of so I didn't like scratch anything or cause any cuts or whatever and that was only because I didn't try this product prior to and so this one I didn't know how like tough the beads were going to be so once I actually um squeezed the uh squeezed the stuff onto my hands <laughs> yeah I noticed that the beads weren't like a weren't like coarse they weren't like salt or sugar it was kind of like a gel it was like, yeah, it was like a jelly type material that was like, um, a little soft enough to kind of rub over your face and not have it hurt. Um, but it was also, um, I guess tough enough to actually really help you peel any of that dead skin that you had on your face. So I really enjoyed it and I kind of got it to work into a, um, I got it to work really well with my semi-damp skin. It really pulled away at the dead skin, and then um, what happened was while I was, um, yeah, while I, while I was massaging it onto my face, it got drier and drier, um, and then it got really dry to the point where you know it was just it looked like I had no no solution on my face at all. And then when I went in to like wet my face, it became like a lather, which was like, whoa, mind blown. So it turned into a cleanser. So it it, dry, it started off as a mask, and then it turned into like just a straight exfoliating scrub because it dried out on my face, in which case I could really, really dig in there and like extra rub and stuff like that. And then when I wet my face, it turned into a cleanser, which I was like, Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, that was insane. Like, that was a crazy, you know, roller coaster of emotions, pretty much. Um, but I loved it, and it, like, left my skin super smooth. I was like, whoa, I, my face hasn't felt this soft in a really long time. Next, I got this, this, like, you know, jumbo travel size uh, version of the, uh, Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask, which is something that I love. Um, 
it's the active charcoal mask to clear pores um, this is something it says active charcoal acts like a magnet to draw out deep dwelling pore cloggers white china clay absorbs an absorbs environmental toxins, lecithin dissolves impurities without all that stuff down there, skin breeds a sigh of relief. Use once a week or as often as needed, open pores with warm moist towel and layer on, allow to dry and rinse well. So this is awesome. This size alone is awesome. Um, I'm a really huge fan of this mask, mainly because it's, you know, a charcoal mask. It helps clean my pores, but it's not too abrasive. Like, I noticed there's a lot of charcoal um, products out there right now on the market. And a lot of the times, they are really, really um, just too strong for my skin. It just dries out my skin so much. Like, I really like Dark Angels, um, but I use that more as a scrub as opposed to a mask. And I think that's how you're supposed to use it, but some people can really just, like, keep it on there and just let it sit. And I could not. It was just way too strong for me. And so, look at the sizes. I So I had this mask already, um, and I was really excited because I love it so much. I was going to repurchase this. And this alone at Sephora is $17. Like, this baby size alone. Look at the difference. I mean, it's not a huge, huge difference, but it's still, you know, quite a difference. And $17 alone, this might have been, and this is a travel size. If I wanted to get, like, a full size like this, who knows how big it was going, how um, expensive it was going to be. So... So you just basically put it on your face, um, on damp, clean skin, um, and I used it immediately after I tried the Modern Fiction um, Dermabrasion, and, you know, it just sucks out all that gunk in your skin, and it, you know, you can really feel it, it's not like a, it doesn't feel like it's pulling, like a painful pull, like some masks pull and it hurts. This mask pulls and it kind of tingles a little bit, but you know, you know that your face is being clean and you don't need a lot. Like you don't need it to be look, you don't need it to like layer on, like you don't have to be caked on. It could just be like a thin layer. Um, your face doesn't have to be like fully black <laughs> or like gray or whatever. You could just have a thin layer all over your face and then you know, it works. It dries really quickly and your face just feels a lot more clean afterwards. Okay, so after that, your face feels really great, but your face feels really dry. And so immediately after that, I used the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask and it's, oh my god, amazing. This stuff is insane. I have never tried an overnight mask before, so I was kind of like, is this just a, you know, night cream or like a intense, like a really intense just cream in general or an oil? Um, but no, it's it's different. It's actually really different, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it says overnight mask to quench skin's thirst twice a week or as desired. Gently, gently massage onto clean skin at bedtime. Tissue off excess. So I put just a little dollop on my on my finger because I wasn't sure how much I needed, um, and that was totally fine. You just um, spread a really thin layer around your face and then you can thicken it up if you wanted to. I put a thin layer on because this is during the day actually and um, I wanted to just try it out in the middle of the day and I was going to go out afterwards so I didn't have, and I didn't want it to over mask if you will. <laughs> so with my thin layer alone though it just completely changed the texture of my skin. So it was really dry um, but it was really clean feeling and then you put it on and it's just like soothing and moisturizing and it just sinks into your skin but what happens is it kind of creates a layer and I guess that's where the mask idea comes in but it creates this really cool layer on top of your skin and it just makes it so smooth um, and then you know over time you it you know doesn't yeah, over time it just kind of dissipates or just gets so absorbed into your skin and you know you don't rinse it off you just keep it on like a moisturizer and then you, Voila, your skin is just so moist and so soft. Not moist, moisturized, that's what I'm saying. Your skin is so moisturized and so soft. Um, and so also, Origins throws in a nice little, you know, facial cleansing brush. And I think that's what it is. It's just like a, uh, you know, it's a facial brush to kind of help exfoliate your skin. Um, these are, you know... I haven't tried it yet because I don't usually try, I don't usually like dig the whole brush thing on my face. I didn't try this but the bristles are really soft and so this might be a really nice um, to help exfoliate my skin. Um, but you know, maybe in the summertime it would be nice to use. Right now it's still too like crazy, the weather is still too crazy here in Chicago. Um, when my skin's probably tougher then I'd probably definitely go ahead and use this. 
So this was my thoughts on the Origins Mascara Trio. Um, this is just a really good, you know, gift set or a package deal with some of Origins best sellers. Um, it's definitely, definitely worth the $30. It's probably definitely, it's, oh, 110% <laughs> worth more in value because um, of the sizes of these bad boys over here. Um, is a really good set to try and purchase if you are just getting into Origins or if you are wanting to explore some of the brand you haven't really been exposed to much of it. Um, this is just a really good overall overarching general skincare um, trio set to add into any skin types regimen and this is not like something that is geared specifically towards dry skin or it's geared specifically towards sensitive skin it's something that could be used overall from by any combo oily dry sensitive skin suffering person <laughs> which is really nice you know everybody needs like a you know an intensive moisturizer like thing and everybody needs to clean out their pores and everybody needs to exfoliate um and but it's just a really cool overarching umbrella of products because it's just so versatile and so functional for so many people so this i feel is an amazing amazing set to have in your makeup repertoire or in your little you know arsenal of skincare um because you definitely won't regret it I don't like purchasing expensive skin stuff sometimes, a lot of the times, but I have to, and this is definitely something that I find is worth it. So yeah, you guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it really helpful. I hope, um, you know, this kind of gives you a good idea of some of the products from Origins. If you had any, like, concerns about it, like dealing with sensitive skin, um, I hope this kind of clarifies some stuff for you. Um, also check out some more of my other sensitive skin type videos that I have. It's something that I hold near and dear to me because I suffer from it every day. I've suffered from it every day of my life. So I kind of know, I, I'm not trying to say I'm an expert, but I kind of know how to deal with some of my, with some sensitive skin issues. Um, check out some more of my other videos on this channel. Um, check out the link down below. It's going to be Little Epic Event Design. It's our website. Uh, we're a Chicago event com events company, and we, f you know, function here in Chicago through the Midwest, most of the Midwest. Um, we also even do travel. So we are wedding coordinators, and we do events. So if you are interested in any of that, definitely check out that link down below. We're also going to be putting up some more vlogs. So if that's something you're interested in, interested in, um, check it out. Uh, follow me on all my social media networks, um, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, and what else, what else, what else, what else? Like, comment, and subscribe, I think I said that. And I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy this video. Um, have an awesome day wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.